Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an organization chart. So first of all, I'm on the new screen and there you can see organizational chart. So I'm just going to get into that. Now when you double click onto that, it comes up straight away with this sort of wizard, the wizard being the default. If I just cancel that off, I don't want to use the wizard. So it comes through. And if I just do that again, so you can see what I did. So I went file new if I click it once it comes up with the options but if you double click it it defaults to this option which basically steps you through a wizard if you've got the data elsewhere you can bring it in to the organizational chart so I'm just going to cancel that off and go back to where I was so double click in just bypasses that process and then it lets you get straight into this um, right what you've got on the left you've got two stencils quick shapes and belt shapes it's not a lot of shapes but these are the two stencils for this. Now, what you do is when you bring these on, let's just bring this on. I've got the shape data window open on the right there. I'll just close that off and show you where that is. So depending on what version of Visio you've got, you could have the data tab and shape data window is there. If I tick it off, otherwise you go into the view tab and task panes and shape data is there. So that's all to do with the different versions of Visio. So these are the pre-formatted items that are in shape data for this top executive shape. Now, if I bring on a manager belt, as it says belt there, I'll call it shape. We've got the same sort of information there. So there's the actual information itself is not different. Each of these shapes has got the same information position, same stuff. So I'm just going to delete those off. Now, if you want to add anything to this or change this or change the order of this, you have to do it on the shape. Now, if I do it on this shape, it will not appear on any subsequent shape that I bring in. So I'll do that and show you it. And then I'll give you a little tip of how to sort that out for going forward. So if I just right click on this, I'll go into data and then define shape data. And these are the lists that you can see there. So I want the name, first of all, to come to the top. So let's go name. And then this is the sort key order. So if I put that to one, followed by department two. So that's going to be name. When I click OK, it's going to be name and then department. And I want to create a new one, salary. So if I just go salary, uh, this is going to be formatted as um currency that's how I want it and I'll just click OK to that so salary sits at the bottom there you can see it so it's put name and department to the top and it's put salary in there now if I bring another one of these on you can see that's back as default it hasn't actually saved these changes at all now if I delete these two off this is well that one off this is what you should do really if you want to edit these these and I'd need to do it for each of these types because that's the same. You really should create your own stencil and then put some shapes in there and then edit them. And then from that point on, you will have the correct shape data information. So let's do that. If we go to more shapes and new stencil, and I'll call this stencil org shapes. Save that. I'll call it org shape so I know what it is. So along with my other stencils. So this one has not been completely modified how I want it. So I want salary to come third. And I don't even want the title field in there. That's just going to be like Mr. or Mrs. So I'll right click again and go into data, define shape data. So let's get rid of title. So I'll delete that. And then find salary and move that to the top. So that needs to be, not the top, third position, I said third. And then you've got um, telephone can be fourth and email can be fifth. Let's see what that looks like when I click OK. Salary, OK. So that's everything's blank. There's no figure in salary. That's how I want it. So if I put this into there and call that... Um, main belt so that's the top one and then if I go back to my other shapes if I bring on the management belt 
you can do this and what you would then do is save that as a template so you've got this you don't have to keep doing this over and over again so we're going to get rid of title we're going to add salary and it's going to be a currency field there it is and uh, we want um, name to be number one so name to be one department to be two and salary to be three I'm not really bothered about everything else they can come in any order let's have a look at that it's in the right order anyhow so now I can push this into my shapes now it's not open at the minute but what you can do is this if I hover over it it just opens it up and then you can drop it in and then you can call that manager belt and then you've got this option to save it there and I'll just do one more and then I'll come back okay so I've just done the same thing for the position belt so I need to just move that into there it opens that up drop it in call it position and you can carry on doing this with all the other shapes so you've got everything you, ne you need in there and back to this one you can see all these other ones as well now where this would come potentially unstuck slightly is this multiple shapes options because if I just pull that on there it gives you three positions but it's the default so I'd have to edit these three I'm not going to do that but th you get the idea same with the multiple shapes whatever you select if I select executive okay it hasn't got those fields on so I'm just going to delete those off so you're going to lose a bit of functionality but if you're going to use shape data which I recommend you do do this is what you'd have to do so let's have a go at doing this so I put the main person on there and then I want a manager to come underneath now you just have to drag and drop it on top and it'll snap out and then I'll do the same so I get three managers like this so that's worked okay and then position I want two under this guy so just drop it on top like that and it builds it up and then I want three under this guy so I'm just bringing three people in and each of these have now got the custom customized shape data as you can see there I'll just bring one person across to this guy now when I click on to um, the title one the top guy you've got obviously all of these have got like a photograph option if you right click onto this you've got the option to put a picture in it says change picture so I'll just put a picture in I'll just um, put Melanie in there so there's Melanie so her name you can either let's just type it in here Melanie let's say she's in um, the sales department or oh, this is sales salary she's on 123,000 far too much telephone number 0191 whatever whatever email mail at amac.com now these guys are just the managers so let's have a look at this I've just type a name in there Bob so that's should go into shape data when I click away click back onto it it's gone up there let's say he's in the finance department this one can be Bill just type it up in shape data it's up to you where you put it I'll put him in sales and the last guy I'll say Ben and he is in finance I'll just come back and put Bill in admin actually because of all things sales admin and then you just fill the rest of this in you put the pictures in and so on and so on um, if you do fill the rest of this information in if I click onto a shape this shape data can be generated as a report in Excel you can send it to Excel you can also add extra things these fields that you've created like salary the default reports wouldn't pick that up so you'd have to run that report having created a new one yourself now the reports feature is on the review tab and then you've got shape reports there and it gives you these these sort of default ones which you can just run but if you wanted to have that salary field you'd have to um, create a new report and then run the new one with that field in it gives you the option to select fields that are not default I'm not going to do that just now I'll close that off so back to this what I want to do is on this group of people underneath bill 
I want to create what's called a synchronized copy. So I'm right clicking and then you've got create, create synchronized copy, clicking on that option. Now I've, I've added a second page there, admin, and this is the admin department. So admin, so I want it to go onto that page. If you don't select or don't create a page beforehand, it's just going to do a new page. Click OK to that and they drop onto this screen. Now, if I just move these down a little bit into the middle. Now, a lot of people get confused with this synchronized copy. What is synchronized is the information on these shapes, not extra shapes. So, for example, if I go back to page one and click onto this shape and call it Anne, or give the person a name, Anne, and they're in admin as well, that information should have be should appear on this shape there she blows and admin so that's the bit that's synchronized now just to show you what happens if you add another shape if i go for position and drop it on there again so and i get four positions if we go back to admin that hasn't dropped on so if you want if you'd made a mistake and you wanted to add that extra shape you'd have to resynchronize it and do it again delete this off and do it again and it would bring it on so it's the information that is synchronized, not the actual number of shapes itself. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video. I just noticed um, when I called the manager shape manager belt, it actually defaulted back to the default setting. So you need to be careful on that. It caught me out a little bit. You can't use the same name as appears here. I'll just show you what I mean by that. So that's the one that I've edited so it has it's still got the title there so if I just drop this in and edit this again data shape data get rid of the title delete okay so everything's happy push it into there pull it out without naming it I get what I want I'll just delete that one but now if I name that manager belt which is the same name as the other one when I pull that on, it hasn't got salary, it's just gone back to the default. So you just watch out for that when you're naming these shapes. You have to name them um, slightly different. If I just right click on this, I can get rid of this one, delete. And then this manager one is still not correct how I want it. It's got the title. So I'll just right click on it, Sh shape data, delete the title, delete, OK push it in there, get rid of that manager, delete, rename this one manager, and hopefully that has not got the title on it, it hasn't got the title on it and that's what I want. So now I can save this stencil and then if you right click you can close the stencil if you no longer need it. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, so hopefully it's been of use, thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.